it's time to have the talk. Last week I saw an interview with Simon Sinek who said that um, millennials are narcissistic, narcissistic, lazy, lazy, and impatient uh, in their jobs. They were told that they were special all the time. You know what? This is the opportunity to talk about why I love my job. It's a terrible job. It's uh, horrible. <laughs> the best case scenario is you'll have an entire population growing up and going through life and just never really finding joy. This is how we have to commute to work every morning. Okay, you can't live like that. <laughs> How's your job? It's fine. It's the same as yesterday. Today is day 10 of the instructor development course. I think everybody's getting a little bit tired, but that's why we're gonna mix things up by doing a little field trip. We're going to a beautiful location, nice beach, practicing uh, teaching presentations, get out of the classroom, and people tend to love it quite a lot. The way that I First, did my first dive and fell in love. I want that love to be passed on to everybody else. Yeah. Why? Why you're not just getting a corporate job? Um, never done that, so I don't want to ever do it. I see people with their slouch backs and uh, unhealthy bodies, and don't want that lifestyle. Are you one of those millennials who thinks they're a special snowflake? Mm, no, I'm not a millennial. <laughs> so, you're not a millennial. How old are you? No, actually, I am. I think. Yeah, if you're born. 1984 or after, apparently you're a millennial. Okay, so I'm 90. You're from 90? Yeah. Yeah, you're a total millennial. No, so I'm not special or anything, but <laughs> I can't scuba dive. <laughs> this is when you were born. This is when you're 80. As far as I understand with my millennial brain, is that from here to, if you're lucky here, you know, that's kind of the prime time. You know, that's the time of your life that you want to maximize. Because let's be honest, kind of from zero to 20, there's, you know, money shortage, you know, you're developing and all that stuff. And once you're 80, it's 60. So what do we have to do right now, guys? We're doing smile. our briefing. Ah. <laughs> yeah, and smile. That's a very important yes. part of the job. And what do we have to achieve today? Five. Five. Five is the ideal scenario. What's what's what is sufficient, Katya? Three. Three? Only <laughs> three, three, three point five. Yeah, three point five. Three point five out of five. Maybe four. Four yeah, would be nice. I'd be you know, But I'm banking on high fours. Yeah? Now we're gonna do this. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Who wants to go for who has surface skills? Uh, me. Me. Everybody. No. I don't like surface skills. <laughs> I can't use them. I like everything. Uh, <laughs> this is why I love cool. my job, yeah. isn't it? Let's be cool. Yeah. Uh, see, the worst part of my job, surface skills. Um, but when I was um, 11 or 12 years old, um, I, I saw this one thing on TV that changed my mind. It was an older guy and they asked him if he had any regrets and he said there is one thing that I wish that I realized sooner and that is when you're young you've got the time you have the desire to do stuff but you don't have the money then as you get older and you get a job and you get a house and a mortgage and family and stuff like that you have the money and you have the desire to do stuff, but there's no time because you're too busy. And by the time you're 60, 70 years old, you're finally retired, you have the money, you have the time, the energy and the desire are gone. And that's why I think it's so important to maximize your prime and to do whatever you want to do during that prime. Why do you think so many people don't have a cool job? Because uh, they don't have the courage to go out and, and do it. Is I wasn't courage? meant to do this. I was meant to go home and find a safe job in London and get a nice apartment and a dog. But then again, you realize, 
I'm 22 and if I'm not going to do this now then when am I? Would you say that you're in your prime right now? No, I think I'm getting there. I think <laughs> maybe once I become an instructor, a week today. <laughs> well, we'll do everything we can. You have faith in me, I can yeah, tell. Yeah, well, for some it's harder than others. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Encouraging. Words of encouragement <laughs> from my instructor. And if you can find something that you really like doing, and you do it a lot, you're bound to get good at it. And if you can get good at it, people will pay you for whatever it is that you're doing. My idea is that I don't think it's the work people who are worthless, I think it's the workplace. Uh, um, I have my own business, I have a kitesurfing school in Spain. A kitesurfing really cool. school? Yeah, <laughs> really cool because your office is the beach, everyone is coming with a smile on their faces because they will try something. And most, uh, I mean, exciting and so I will never go back to an office job. No way, no <laughs> way. I prefer this office. You have to keep on moving. If not, you can get bored or even, not only bored, but uh, you do too many times same thing. It's starting to be not so exciting and you can forget things that you should teach or, nah, yeah. it's not the same. I like your, uh, your work shoes. <laughs> we have the same work shoes. Yeah, they are the best, <laughs> the best ever. <laughs> Why is it the best job in the you world? You get to travel, you get to meet people like yourself, uh, you get to teach people, you get to see their reaction, uh, what it's like to see the underwater world for the first time. So that's pretty special. And why, why you don't take like a corporate job? You can make some big bucks. But then you're just living for the weekends and you're trying to earn money to travel to places to be like here, to be here. Whereas we're yeah. here every day. We're already here. Yeah, Paradise. that's true. I like it. Yeah. And even though they're 12 hour work days, and sometimes they feel like work days, in general, I, I, it's so easy to get over that, realizing that I'm doing what everybody else would pay to do, and I'm getting paid to do it, which I think is crazy. They were told that they could have anything they want in life, just because they want it. I don't really care if that is even more proof to everybody else that you know we're the snow, special snowflake generation but I honestly believe that if there is something that you are good at and that you develop you are going to be able to make that work during your prime if you guys like the vlog so far please hit the subscribe button below and stay tuned for more episodes